this shit will keep you wide awake. You don't like it that much, and why you sing this gigantic song about coffee? Get the ladies, why else? It doesn't seem like it's winning all over. I try. To the best part of waking up is it what's inside the cup? Welcome back, but it wasn't your absence that caused this, it was mine, and I would go ahead and explain, but suffice it to say that the reason that you're hearing me now, rather than seeing me, aside from just doing you all a favor, is, uh, well, due to long-term hardware issues, as well as, well, if you watched back in the day, then no doubt you're familiar with the, uh, line from near the end, and uh, as always, behind the camera sin, well... Not always, as it turns out. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a one-man operation, at least for the time being, so bear with me. It's almost that time of year. PAX is coming up starting tomorrow, today obviously being Thursday, the 28th of August, 2008. And, uh... Quite frankly, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to top last year in terms of Nerdcore presence. Last year we had YT Cracker, Steffo from My Parents' Favorite Music, who you just heard earlier, uh, MC Router, Beefy, Ultra Klystron, Nurse Hella, and uh, MC Shinigami. So there was uh, quite a presence last year, and uh, since then there have been a lot of changes. I really don't think that we're really going to be able to measure up in the same way that we did last year, but I guess we'll have to see. Uh, this year, the musical lineup has shifted a bit. Uh, Nerdcore staple Optimus Rhyme will not be performing at PAX. They will be at the pre-PAX show, but uh, after their hiatus, beginning approximately the time of PAX last year, they, uh, they haven't been performing together since then. Uh, the pre-PAX show will be the exception to the rule. Also, if you were expecting to see MC Chris, as I'm sure you've already heard, if you were looking forward to that, uh, he is not going to be performing at PAX this year. So uh, that leaves us really uh, with MC Frontalot being the uh, oldest and most consistent performer at PAX, although I do understand that Jonathan Colton will be performing again this year. So that being said, let's go ahead and uh, visit a track by one of the attendees of, last, of PAX last year, Ultra Klystron with 5 to 9. <laughs> I don't 
don't need sleep Cause I'm making the whole scene At least that's what I say But that's just the slow speed I can't seem to find At least you respect time When I'm working that kind At the five to nine I don't need sleep Cause I'm making the whole scene At least that's what I say But that's just a slow screen I can't seem to find At least you respect time When I'm working that grind At the five to nine Every single place I'm seeing the same faces Memory glitches with rights and erases Defining myself The false to set labels the Creation of self Is defined by these fables Just in the same rhyme And telling the same stories This new audience By these allegories And though to me Played out And ought to be forgotten My brain's exhausted And slowly going right And I gotta be cool Gotta act like a pro I was witty with my words But in a fresh flow And if you've not heard it Then it's new to you And I know you've not heard it And neither has your crew So then at this convention I'll give you a nice dream Cause I'm too darn broke To buy you an ice cream and I'm not a mad god, no rockin' the obby So I'll spit what I have until I hear the shot scream I don't need sleep, cause I'm making the whole scene At least that's what I say, but that's just a slow scene I can't seem to find, at least you respect time And I'm working that fine, at the five to nine I don't need sleep, cause I'm making the whole scene At least that's what I say, but that's just a slow scene I can't seem to find, at least you respect time And I'm working that grind, at the five to nine Shit, bitches from the hip-hop giving cosplay tips Call the news at a flip while taking quirky tips Vault and MDX receiving messages and texts Quickly jotting down notes through caffeine effects It's the burden of the press But not everything's a ruin Cause I even interviewed a Miss Jessica Boone And even say it's super crisp But my back is aching My feet are screaming out My backpack is breaking From all of the free strand Ocean she by the bag And that radical rock Known as the agri -crack. Free custom luggage tag But I don't mean to write Cause all of this sweet stuff Cause it's my spine to say I'm not physically active In my usual adventure So even pro bono Could earn a little of a censure Add to that the fact That I kinda am a bit better And suddenly I need help From an Earth Force defender yeah. by the end of the time My intellect is a god I'm feeling like a zombie Man I'm deader than Sean And then my crew of friends Is tough like and chicken But at the content I won't even pretend Because we're all the time The principal cast of these frosts It's like we've been a constant surprise No one's lost it But we keep rolling on Though it's not on dust This is the old type Who's that we rolling on fans I don't need sleep Cause I'm making the whole scene At least that's what I say But that's just a slow scene I can't seem to find At least you respect time And I'm working that fine At the five to nine I don't need sleep Cause I'm making the whole scene At least that's what I say But that's just a slow scene I can't seem to find At least you respect time That was, as I said, Ultra Clystron with 5 to 9, and you can visit his website at carlrolson.com to be able to check out more of his stuff, not only his uh, nerdcore hip-hop material, but also his drum and bass work, which is just amazing. Of course, foremost among what you're going to find at the material available on Carl's website is his CD, Open Source Lyricist, featuring a couple old favorites from Rhyme Torrents, So Long Kids, and 5 to 9, which we just heard, also with a mix of tracks which are unavailable anywhere else. I'm not a musician, nor am I a music reviewer, therefore I find it difficult to actually give anything approaching constructive criticism that falls anywhere between it's awesome and it completely sucks. As such, I'm not really going to try to deconstruct this in any meaningful way, other than to say that if you're a fan of Ultra Klystrons, then you're going to want this CD. The music is excellent, the flows are spectacular, it's really everything that you would expect from Ultra Klystron. And I realize that that sounds like a cop-out that I'm just saying, throwing my hands up and saying, ah, get it if you like. But, I, I really just, I can't recommend it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan. What can I say? I, I can't recommend it highly enough. You, if you, if you enjoy uh, the well-crafted electronic sort of, uh, it always seems kind of toonami sort of anime influenced the music uh, and the, the just the atmosphere to the songs. I guess I, I don't know. Again, I don't have the vocabulary for really reviewing music, so I can't really say much of anything beyond that. But it really is spectacular stuff. If you are not a fan, if you haven't really been exposed to him yet, I encourage you to go ahead and check him out on Rhyme Torrents, check out those two tracks, and uh, and see what you think. If if you like it, uh, go ahead and investigate. Uh, maybe you'll find something that you didn't know about. So, um, that having been said, uh, 
referring to PAX last year, uh, all the Nerdcore artists that were showing up for the Nerdcore Night Show, which was a disaster. And let me tell you something. Honestly, if you're going to perform here in Seattle and you really and, and you have a choice of looking around for venues, you're looking for something to do, just avoid El Corazon like the fucking plague. I swear to God, I live right around the corner from this place. So I know that of which I speak. It's just absolutely awful and they will screw over any artist that they possibly can as long as it means that they save five bucks once they've actually gotten all the admission they think they're going to get just don't do it seriously all right that aside though uh this year i have not heard of a, of a nerdcore night event which is a shame we had those going on two years running but again after the El Corazon experience not entirely surprising that it's not going to happen this year uh, but if anybody does know anything that's going on, um, again, feel free to uh, send a mail on down to nerdcore.news at gmail.com. Let me know. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and do an update uh, between now and the time the PAX is over and uh, you know get that out there so that uh, some people might find out what's going on. That being said, uh, I did mention the pre-PAX show that's going to be going on. It's going to be uh, tonight, actually. And uh, Optimus will be there, so in honor of their first appearance together in some time, here's 520. Why do I work over on the east side? Why do I work over on the east side? Fuck. Bellevue is 530, dude. I'm 520, man. So many cars in front of me, it ain't funny, man. I know I don't belong here. I'm just taking I to the D. Pull out my skateboard and get it on here. I to the D. Read thoughts wrong here. Pass the mic, a hell Mary bomb here. Got it. Stick a barbecue, booger pick and flick of the stick, we're sticking the job beside windows. Cause Xbox employees don't carry pistols. Hardy ha ha, now you got a booger on your car. And 148, it's an hour to 90 seconds, 30 minutes to the bridge deck. If it's not a wreck, but I expect some fucked up shit. Wait and see, oh, to the brain, yo, I start hallucinating. Singing, Oopa, 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 Why do I work over on the east side? Oopa, 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 I've got another story for you. Oopa, 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 why do I work over on the east side? Oopa, loopa, loopa, Oh, fuck. Bellevue. And why am I willing to be waiting? I should be with my cutie booty shaking. Should be making crazy sounds like... But I'm gonna be late and so, man, I sit in the car and I masturbate. Go over the lake and hit the interstate. No, this mistake is not to see. Pull out my license and show this. I'm to the team. We thought broke this. She had a live job and slow dead. How many days in a row am I gonna be taking the whisk of this shit? Fisco business like Rick. Sick of this shit. Happiness like some myths and the men. Change my residence. No, there's nothing to discuss. Fuck this shit. Bye. I'm taking the bus. And I'm on the bus. And I'm on the bus. And that was, as I said, 520 by Optimus Rhyme off of the Brobot Demos. Uh, this year, the pre pack show, much like last year, will be at the High Dive in Fremont. It's going to be uh, starting up at 8 o'clock. Uh, not exactly sure what the price is going to be at the door. Probably, uh, We're probably talking 5 or $10 here. I don't really know. Uh, much like last year, we're going to have Beefy, Optimus Rhyme, and MC Frontalot performing on stage. Uh, we're also going to have the Goondocks playing, so for those of you who haven't had the chance to come in and listen to them since uh, they have a few tracks available online but don't really perform too much outside of the Northwest, at least not as far as I know, then uh, this might be your chance to go ahead and check them out. Got kind of a unique sound there. 
But before I get to babbling too much about individual artists, let's go ahead and get back to PAX. But before that, let's take a little break, and we're going to listen to Nerd Life by YT Cracker. Nerd Life, Nerd Life.
that was Nerd Life by Y.T. Cracker off of the album of the same name. So, uh, also a PAX attendee last year. Maybe we'll see him this year. Um, for those of you who don't know or have never been to PAX, especially since it moved from the Maidenbauer Center in Bellevue on over to the actual convention center here in Seattle, let me just give you a rough idea of what to, spec to, what to expect. First of all, uh, the weather last year, not that good, drizzly, a little bit cold. Expect the same thing this year. Fortunately, uh, the convention center has that covered arch outside the front, so uh, you can stay dry provided you don't actually ever leave PAX. And uh, that having been said, uh, also another another feature of PAX which seemed to have cropped up last year was a number of people uh, pretending for the title of uh, largest video game convention that's open to the public, obviously, in America, which, incidentally, I'd like to mention, we totally called that. Like, two years ago, we said, biggest one, now that E3, and we were right. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, people handing out flyers, and seriously, people handing out flyers about, like, religion? What? Okay, you know what? I, 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 I don't even, I don't even care. Anyway. Uh, also, and I'm sure you've seen these people in your local mall or what have you, Clearwire. Clearwire was there. Of course they were there. But, as if that wasn't bad enough, they were co-opting booths in the, whole, in the whole thing, and they were yelling out. I mean, I can't be the only person who thinks that these people appear like a cult. I mean, they just set up a booth, and then they yell at you to come on over. I mean, I don't know if they're worse than the LaRouche College kids, but they're at least as bad. And I, I saw them yell at this guy, Do you want to be awesome? And the guy just walked on. Well, of course he walked on. Of course he walked on. Because it sounds like you're trying to convert him to a religion. Do you want to be awesome? Well, we can all be awesome through the power of Christ. He's got all the cheat codes to life. Remember, he got fragged for your sins. I mean, why would they actually think that somebody's going to respond when they're just yelling at it? We, we're all aware of what Clearwire is. Please, calm down. We'll come to you when we want it. Anyway... That having been said, uh, yes, as I said earlier, uh, expect the weather to be the same as it was last year. It is going to be rainy. It is not always like that in Seattle, just during conventions. Speaking of conventions, this is the biggest event that the Washington State Convention Center here in Seattle is going to have had up to this point ever. That's how big it is. Okay, Last year, they had 30,000 plus, and this year it's going to be even bigger. It's going to top anything that they've ever had at the convention center, so do bear that in mind. All that having been covered, uh, no, no treatment of the topic with it would be complete without mentioning that Nerdcore for Life will be screening there on Sunday night at the Walrus Theater. I'm assuming that's a room in which they're playing a movie, and they're referring to it as the Walrus Theater. Uh, I, I can't I mean, there's no physical location called the Walrus Theater, so that's all I've got, really. Uh, at 10 p.m., I encourage anybody who has nothing better to do at 10 o'clock on a Saturday night to come on over if you're not busy at GameWorks, and uh, go ahead and check the movie out. It is going to be early enough in the evening that uh, Front of Lot show, Front of Lot set, will not yet be started, so you can always go straight from one to the other. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Nerdcore News. I'd like to thank all the artists who either have let or hopefully will let me have this uh, music posted up on here. That would be my parents' favorite music, who you can find on MySpace. Ultra Klystron, who you can find on MySpace as well, or at carlrolson.com. Optimus Rhyme, also uh, able to be found on MySpace, and OptimusRhyme.com, YT Cracker at MySpace and Nerdy South Records, and last but not least, the musician with whom we'll be closing this episode out, Beefy, with Nerdcore for Life from the album Tube Technology. We'll see you later. All right, it's been quite some time, and while I can't say that we're back per se, I can at least say that for now we're here. So let's get up to date, shall we? First of all, Nerdcore releases that you simply need. You may think that your life is complete, but without the following, you're sadly mistaken. Throw up your hands if you like this music. Podcasting DJs, feel free to use it. Gotta whore myself just to get my next gig. Yo, this is my life, baby, Nerdcore for life. Throw up your hands if you like this music. Podcasting DJs, feel free to use it. Gotta whore myself just to get my next gig. Yo, this is my life, baby, Nerdcore for life. Life sucks. Just continue us disappointments And it won't get no better with soft screams or ointments This the kind of thing that
that's gonna fester and peel Until the point you wanna drink until you cannot feel Always we are judged by how we're seen by our peers When we think that it was done with all the gaining of years Yeah right, another misconception of life If you want change to happen, make it happen tonight Feel free to pick on me cause I'm a virgin and a fatty Or how my mommy is no longer with my daddy Really wanna have at me? You better stab me Cause I could only be more macho if my name was Randy I'm savage this year, I will ravage your gear Till the feds ask your mom if some grizzlies were here I know you remixers wanna sample this here Cause DJ Sander makes this shit that pleases the ear Yo, throw up your hands if you like this music Podcasting DJs, feel free to use it Gotta whore myself just to get my next gig Yo, this is my life, maybe nerdcore for life Throw up your hands if you like this music Podcasting DJs, feel free to use it Gotta whore myself just to get my next gig Yo, this is my life, baby, nerdcore for life On the net, BB on the stage you gotta grind If you ever wanna be as good as Optimus Rhyme Mainstream doesn't give a shit about us in the first place Can I get your attention by rearranging your face? Because I'm on the net I must not know how to rap And you can tell that I'm a joke like it's a matter of fact Well here's your punchline in the form of a metaphor These kids raise the horns on center stage like a man Any Any corner of the globe you can hear us on the stereo Breaking down walls with our rhymes like it was Jericho Labels think that they got control, I gotta go Cause these kids still want audio from my last show, I have not been tempted by the evils of greed, why in the hell do you think that I made my album free, so now you have cash for an Xbox or a Wii, and you're gonna need every dime for a Playstation 3, so come on, throw up your hands if you like this music, podcasting DJs, feel free to use it, gotta whore myself just to get my next gig, yo, this is my life baby, nerdcore for life, throw up your hands if you like this music, podcasting DJs, feel free to use it, gotta whore myself just to get my next gig, Yo, this is my life, baby, nerdcore for life